guys okay welcome back so today I'm doing another shop my stash it's been about two weeks since I did a shop my stash I took a little break for a few days um, and decided I needed to go ahead and do another shop my stash so that I can start playing in makeup again for this week I am right here hello <laughs> Yes, I have no makeup on because I, I need to pick some stuff. So um, I decided to do this type of situation for the video because I thought it would be easier for me to just pull out my drawers this way and kind of make my choices and go from there. So, and you guys, you know, can also see what I'm choosing from while I'm choosing. So it might look a little strange. I got a little tray up here. It has the little holders, you know, to hold your, it's like a laptop tray for when you're like in bed or on the floor or whatever. So it works out really nice because it has a little tilt feature and all that. So anyway, yeah, yeah, yeah. That is what I'm putting my drawers on for you guys to see. So I'm going to go in the same order that I typically like to choose my makeup when I'm picking it out to you. So this drawer has all of my moisturizers up here um i did put like face oils over here and then serums over here just to have a little bit of somewhat of order now i kind of already know what i want to choose i think my last shop my stash i was a little bit stingy with myself trying to you know really stay focused and zeroed in on some products but i kind of want to pick a few more items this time to choose from so it won't be so hard for me <laughs> so i know y'all laughing right now don't laugh at me so this week i actually want to pick a face oil because i haven't used a face oil in a while and i did pick up this new face oil um off of the boxy charm was it the add-ons or pop-ups i don't know but this is the elemis pro collagen rose facial oil and i'm really really curious about this stuff um i could smell it when i took it out of the box it smells really good so i want to try this out for the next week or so so and i have my little shop my stash container right here even though y'all know i feel like i need a bigger one <laughs> but i'll just put this up here for now so i can you know drop my stuff in there so i do want to use a facial oil i have a few other facial oils actually like this is the wander beauty glow ahead illuminating face oil got that in a subscription box i have milani face oil um the sunday riley is that a face oil yep that's a face oil as well so i have a few to choose from but anyways let's keep it pushing i need to ch choose a serum as well ah I got this new one here. This is a blur priming serum from Revolution. And I'm not sure if these are supposed to dupe the Farsalis or what. I know they dupe everybody, but I kind of want to try this out. I'm curious about it. I wouldn't be able to compare it because I don't have this particular Farsali. But I kind of want to try this out as well. It's new and I want to use it. So I think I'm going to pull this for a priming serum um i haven't used this what is this the caprice antioxidant do quench and glow serum i haven't used this yet either but i'll be using that soon um and i think i want to go with this glassy uh touch and soul glassy skin balm to use as like a moisturizer this week i love this stuff when i first got it in my box it's a pretty filter glassy skin balm when i first got this in my box I was like, oh my gosh, fell in love with this. So I know I love it already. And as you can see, I kind of went ham on it. So I'm going to go ahead and make a little bit more of a dent, if not use it all. So I think for, um, yeah, I think I need a larger, <laughs> larger shop by stash uh box but whatever i ain't tripping so i think that's all i'm going to choose for now moisturizer face oil and a serum a priming serum so i think that's good for the face so now i do want to choose um actual primer just straight up face primer for when i'm not using the priming serum 
Now, this e.l.f. Jelly Pop Dew Primer, I am dying to try this, but it really scares me because I think it's going to be sticky. Everyone loves that milk makeup primer that this is supposed to dupe, and I'm just not sure I'm going to like a sticky primer. So I do want to try it, though. So I'm going to go ahead and put that in there for me to try because I haven't tried it yet. I also picked up a couple of new um a couple more new primers i should say this is a wet and wild water drop primer i'm not sure exactly what that means water drop but this is coconut i'm assuming it's supposed to hydrate um i haven't tried this out but when i saw coconut i wanted to try it because coconut smells really good so i need to choose i don't want to pick too many primers well if this hydrates this Becca Skin Love Brighten and Blur Primer. This is one, a new one that I got as well. I like to kind of keep something that fills my pores and blurs because I always need that. So, hmm, this is a mattifying face primer from Ulta. I really like this. I've used this before. And... This is my Primed and Peachy Cooling Matte Skin Perfecting Primer from Too Faced. This stuff is bomb, you guys. So maybe I'll pick this one because I know for sure that I like this one. And then I'll try out these other two primers as well and see if I like either of those. But at least I have something that I know I like for primer. Okay, you guys, so for brows, I did get this kit in my boxy charm. I don't have the box right now, but this is the, I guess, the billion dollar brows set that I got in my boxy charm. And it does come with the brow pencil with the spoolie. It comes with, this is the dual ended uh, pencil. So it's a concealer and a highlight for, you know, cleaning up the brows and highlighting the brows and whatnot. And then you get a brow gel with it. And then you also get this like smudger brush to use to clean up under your brows. Now, what concerns me is this is supposed to be kind of like a universal pencil, I guess. And with brows, I don't know if that even exists. You know, a universal brow pencil. I don't think that's dark enough for me. But I do want to try it because it's supposed to work for most people. So, um... I'm going to try this kit out. <laughs> so I'm going to take this whole kit, even though I really don't use brow gel because I don't have a lot of hair, but I'm going to take this whole billion dollar brows kit and try and use this this week. I might love it. I might hate it. I don't know, but I'm going to put the whole kit in there just in case I don't like it. Now, I really don't have that many options that I use for brows. I usually either use my e.l.f. Uh, brow pomade. This is the Lock On Liner and Brow Pomade from e.l.f. I either use this or else I use my LA Girl Slim Shady Brow Pencil because it's very, very thin and precise. So, you know, I have my favorites when it comes to brows or my e.l.f., which I used my e.l.f. all last week. So, I think I'm just going to... Take my LA Girl Slim Shady Pencil. Um, no, you know what? I'm going to do a brow pomade for a while. So I'm going to use my e.l.f. brow pomade this week if I don't like the um, Billion Dollar Brows Kit. That way at least I won't be stuck and I'll have something that I can use for my brows. Okay, so you guys know for foundation, I have this little round robin thing that I keep my foundations in. Um, I definitely want to try out this. I just got this. This is a Revolution Conceal and Hydrate Foundation. I um, used to really, really love the other Revolution Foundation. What is it? Conceal and Perfect or something like that. But I ended up giving it to my daughter because the shade was just a little too light for me. So this is the new Revolution Conceal and Hydrate Foundation. I have the shade F13. And when I swatched it in the store, it seemed like it was a pretty good match for me. So I'm going to try this out this week and see how I like it. I also got from Walmart 
this Black Radiance Color Perfect Liquid Makeup. It's an oil-free foundation. Um, this color looks kind of light for me. And when I swatched it on my hand, it kind of just totally disappeared. It was kind of weird. It just disappeared. And I was like, okay. So I think it is, it has like a little paddle. But I feel like this is kind of like a... um. Yeah, a lot comes off on the paddle. But I think this is kind of like a um one of those really, really light coverage, thin, lightweight foundations. So you can see it just basically melted into my skin. You know, so I don't know what to think about that because it just disappeared. It actually looks great, even though in the bottle it looks like it might be a little too light. When I put it on my hand, it's just like, where did it go? So I think I'm gonna try this foundation out, but I'm also going to pull a concealer that's going to cover my dark circles under my eyes and around my mouth, just to make sure that I have enough coverage along with this, because I'm thinking this might be something I really, really like because it is so lightweight. So I'm gonna try this out. I never tried any foundation from black radiance and it was only like four dollars i think and i think what i'm gonna do just in case i hate both of those foundations i'm gonna pull my nyx born to glow because i know that i love this <laughs> so if those two foundations are a fail i'm gonna go ahead and have something that i can still use that works just fine for me okay you guys so let's take a look at some concealers uh I really kind of want to use my NYX Born to Glow because I did just get this recently and I don't feel like I really got to use it as much as I wanted to. So I kind of want to just use my NYX Born to Glow for a while. I did get the two shades, one that's a little bit lighter and one that's a little bit darker. The darker one is Warm Caramel. The shade is perfect for me. And then the lighter one is Warm Honey, and this is perfect for brightening under my eyes. So yeah, I'm going to just choose these two for concealer and let that be that. Okay, you guys, so let's take a look at powders for this week. Um, I really don't have that many pressed uh, face powders that I use. You guys know I have my Kiss. Pro Touch uh, Matte Powder Foundation that works great for me. I also have my Too Faced Multi-Use or what is this stuff called? Multi-Use Complexion Powder. You know, this works great for me. I use the color um, Spiced Rum. In the Kiss Powder, this is what this one looks like. And this one is in the shade Toffee Caramel. The only new one that I have that I haven't tried uh, thus far is this L'Oreal True Match Super Blendable Powder. And this one I got in C7. So I'm not sure. I was trying to just kind of check it out in the store and see if it would be a good color for me. And I actually think it will be. It looks pretty decent. I've never tried this powder before, so I think I'm going to try this as a pressed powder this week. And I'm going to go ahead and chill on my Kiss and my Too Faced. But like I said, I really don't have that much pressed powder or setting powder. I do have this Sephora, um, but I think this is a finishing powder. Yeah, this is the Micro Smooth, Micro Smooth Powder. What color is this, honey? Deep. Yeah, so this is the Sephora powder in deep, but this is more of like a really nice finishing powder. So yeah, I don't, I only grab that if I feel like I really need it. Now for loose setting powders, of course I have my Maybelline Fit Me. I do have a lot more loose setting powders, but it just kind of depends on how I feel. I do have this transparent um setting powder from Ciate London. Of course, I got this in a monthly subscription box. It's called the Extraordinary Translucent Powder. And I kind of want to try this, but I don't know if I'm in the mood for a translucent powder. 
I really, really want to try this Beauty Bakery flower powder. My girl DJ loves this stuff. And so I picked one up. This one is in the shade Almond because I really only use loose setting powders under my eyes. And I thought that this was a good shade for under my eyes because I don't really care for the yellow. I like more of like the Almond Golden look. So... Yeah, I want to go ahead and try this out. It's not open yet, but yeah, I'm going to pull this for my loose setting powder for under my eyes, and I think that'll be good. Okay, so let's take a look at some um, bronzer and contours. Now, my big thing is bronzer. You guys know that. My big thing is bronzer because I just, I'm not really big on contour, and I think it's probably because I haven't found that perfect contour. I'm just like, oh my gosh, every contour I use, I don't like the way it looks. So um, let me pick out a bronzer. This is the Showmance Brontour from Morphe. I've had this for quite a while and I don't know if I've ever even used it. I really don't. It's really, really pretty. I kind of want to try it. What do you guys think? Okay, that's a maybe. I also haven't used my Milani. I used to use the heck out of this stuff. This is Earth Glow Pressed Powder. <laughs> I haven't used this in so long. This one I think might pull a little bit red, but it's very, very pretty. And I'm kind of curious to see how I feel about it because I don't remember. I think I love it, but you know how you find better products and you're kind of like, you thought this was the bomb until you use something else and then you found out, oh, that's not that great. So I think I want to use this. <laughs> so I want to try this because I'm not sure. So I am going to try this Morphe uh, Showmance in this Milani bronzer. So I'm going to drop these in here. But I also want to grab another one that... I already know that I like just in case those don't work out for me. So this is the full spectrum from CoverGirl. And this one is Ebony. This one is in the shade Ebony. So this is what this looks like. And as you can see, this is really, really rich. I can actually use this as a soft contour. So I think this will be a good one to pick for this week because I haven't used this in a while either. Okay, so let's take a look at some blushes. Now, you guys know I have a ridiculous amount of blushes. I'm not even going to pull them all out because then it gets extremely overwhelming. So I'm just going to focus on this um, today. Now, I just got this Anastasia Beverly Hills blush kit. This is the gradient. And this is what she looks like. Oh my God, that is so pretty. Ah! Oh my gosh, it's so gorgeous. Okay, I'm going to put this right here because that's a maybe. Now, this Catrice in Iman, um, you know, blush foursome is really pretty, but it hasn't been that long since I've used that. Now, this I haven't used in a minute. This is my Sephora face palette. This is Spice Market blush palette. Let's see if I can get this open. Oh my goodness, you guys. This palette is so bomb. The blushes in here are gorgeous. You can use this as a bronzer, highlight. Oh, I take this whenever I travel. I do not travel without this palette. <laughs> it's gorgeous. But I'm not going to use this because I used to use the heck out of that. So I'm going to chill. Um, What am I looking for? Blush. Now, I haven't used my Juvia's Place blushes in a while. Hmm. This is the Saharan Blush Volume 1. Ooh. Ah. <laughs> There's highlighters in there too. Now this is a very bold blush palette, which I can handle. Y'all know I can handle it. Um. So yeah, you know what? I haven't used this in a while. So we're going to have some serious blush going on. I'm going to choose these two for this week running out of room okay you guys so next i want to take a look at highlight what am i going to do for highlight this week 
um you guys know i love this kiss glowing bronze powder it's supposed to be a bronzer but y'all know this is a highlighter for me okay this thing is so pretty oh my gosh if you guys come across this in your local beauty supply y'all need to grab it uh i have my ofra highlighter this one is the everglow oh so so pretty oh my gosh i'm not using any liquid highlighter this week no thank you um oh this is new this is a wet and wild hello halo blush lighter so this is like a blush slash highlighter this is really really pretty maybe i should try this out because i just got this and haven't tried it out yet and this one is flash me so this is the deeper one i don't see too many people getting the deeper one so i think i'm gonna try this out okay oh i think i'm gonna choose one more this is yeah this is new too this is my elf glow gleam and beam highlighter palette oh my gosh you guys look at this look at this palette this is so freaking pretty look how gorgeous oh that's so pretty and i have not used this yet yes honey yes i know somebody is like girl swatch it I think I have to break through that first little barrier. Oh no, honey, this is showing, it's showing. So it looks like it's kind of like a nice soft highlight, which is fine by me. Cause you know, every day I don't need that <clears throat> super duper. Yeah, it feels like it's kind of like some type of, you know, something on top that you kind of have to get through before it really gets serious okay so yeah i like those kind of highlighters because they are just kind of nice and soft and buildable that's pretty let me swatch the other three i don't know why i was just swatching the bottom three <laughs> i guess those are the ones calling my name Ooh. okay so let's swatch these that one looks a little glittery Ooh, pretty though. Gorgeous. Okay, so this one here, that is my jam right there. That pretty gold one. Oh, it's gorgeous. Yeah, they're all really pretty though. But this one just kind of looks like a really light, very light glitter. Yeah, I don't know if you can even see that a little glitter shimmer there. Yeah. So yeah, it looks like I'll be gravitating to this one here and maybe this one here, but very pretty. I have to admit though, it's not as beaming as I thought it would be. So we'll just have to see how it does on my face. Okay, so this is what I'm extremely excited about, you guys. I get to pick a mascara. If you guys watch my channel regularly, you know I have been using that Thrive Cosmetics for months and months and months, and I'm finally over it. It's in the trash. It's gone. <laughs> so my review on the Thrive Cosmetics mascara, it's a nice mascara. It does build up. I wouldn't say that it lengthens too much. It lengthens a little bit, but not too much. It does add volume and thickness in my opinion. I didn't have any issues with crumbling or uh, cakiness or anything like that. And it wasn't that hard to get off with makeup remover, you know, soap and uh, makeup remover. So yeah, it's a great mascara, but I don't ever wanna see it again. I'm sick of it. <laughs> okay. So yeah, I'm really gravitating to this Essence because I bought, it's funny, I bought more Essence mascaras, but I must have gave them away because I'm like, I bought quite a few Essence mascaras. I have this one and I have this one. Um, Yeah, but I thought I had more than that. So it's all good though. Um, So I'm going to try out what one of these or both of these this one is the lash princess false lash effect from essence so 
that's what that one looks like. Mm, not really rocking my boat. I'm not really into those type of applicators that much. This one here is the Super Curl Volume Mascara from Essence. Okay, so I like that applicator better. I'm more into the, you know, plastic, pointy, short teeth um, applicators. So I might like this one better. So I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to take both of these so I can see, you know, which one I like better. Okay, and lastly, you guys, I'm choosing my setting sprays. This is the Anastasia Beverly Hills Dewy Set Setting Spray. I love this packaging, you guys. It's so, so cute. It kind of makes you think, though, if you use this, you're going to have glitter all over your face, but there's no glitter in here. It's just the packaging, but this setting spray is bomb, okay? I mean, it sets my face, gives me a nice, beautiful, healthy glow, and I like it. So I'm going to pick this, and I haven't used any of my MAC uh, fix plus sprays in a long time so I'm going to go ahead and use this lavender one I don't even remember when I bought this it had to be on sale because honey I don't be buying uh, expensive setting sprays like that but this is the lavender one from Mac so this is a prep and prime fix plus lavender and I haven't tried it yet so we're gonna go with this for setting spray as well so that is it you guys because I decided I'm not picking palettes for my shop mustache because it's it's too frustrating for me I like to pick my palette when I sit down <laughs> and I'm not picking lips because I like to pick my lipstick based on my eye looks so these are all of my shop mustache items for shop mustache number two you guys I think that I have a good variety of items to choose from that will keep me happy and not stressed out. <laughs> so you guys pray for me that I get through this week or two weeks or three days or however long this lasts. And once I'm done with it, I will come back and do a Shop My Stash recap number two for this selection of items so thank you so much for hanging out with me you guys thanks for watching thanks for helping me shop my stash <laughs> and i will see you on my next video toodles